hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to be doing something different that i haven't actually done so i have a list of schools that i'm going to be making a tour of and in that school i'm going to speak with the student that's still there or someone that has graduated and the person is going to be telling us everything that we need to know about this school for today we are starting with Griffith College so if you are an international student or a prospective international student looking to actually come to Ireland and school in Griffith College then this video is for you because you're going to be seeing what Griffith College in Dublin looks like and you're going to be hearing from a graduate that has a couple of things to say about Griffith College so if you're interested let's begin <laughs>
So we just actually finished like a short tour of like Griffith College for those interested. So I have some questions for her. She's going to be introducing herself very briefly. Hi guys, I'm back again on Ria's channel. My name is Faith Kenneth, Ria's friend, Ria's baby friend. <laughs> and yeah, I schooled in Griffith College. Okay. And I studied international business and law, mm -hmm. master's degree program. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, anyways, so I just have a few questions to ask her just for those interested in coming to Griffith. I want to know everything about it's Griffith. To Griffith so. Okay, so you already mentioned your name and your school and what mm -hmm. you actually studied mm -hmm. here. So like how long did you stay? How long was the program for? Okay, yeah, it was one year, four months. I started in 2021 February and I finished in 2022 June with my testing. So yeah, one year, four months. Mm, okay. Yeah. And why did you pick Griffith? So there's no reason particularly. Okay. There was no exact so reason. anything from anybody? No, I I would say I didn't even do my research actually. It was just my what do they call those people again? My Your agents. Exactly. It was my agent. So he pretty much works with Griffith. He just told me, Oh, Griffith is a good school, the learning skill is good, blah blah blah, like everything, mm. the environment is serene, the yeah. hostel is good, you would enjoy mm. Griffith. I don't know if it was marketing Griffith to me, but Griffith is actually a good school. Mm -hmm. But I didn't do my research on Griffith to know if it was really a good school and all of that. And the international business and law I did was... <clears throat> it was what? It was tough? It was tough for... Oh, but it was... Like when we were doing like the whole tour and everything, you were saying that oh, Griffith is a strict school. Yeah. Why? Ah, it's strict though. Like it's very strict. In terms, of, academic, so in terms like... of academics, in terms of discipline, in terms of literally everything. Like in Griffith, there are cameras like everywhere. You cannot misbehave. You can't misbehave in Griffith. I would only say there are no cameras in the hostel, but okay. in the classes there are cameras, like literally cameras, because mm -hmm. I mean the lecturer would want to see what you're doing sometimes mm -hmm. in class. So actually. in terms of like academics, like are they strict in terms of like grading and everything? Yes, they are, they are very strict. They yes, very they strict. are very strict. They are very strict. Even when someone was telling me, oh, maybe after your master's you can still do your PhD in Griffith, I'm like, no, I can't come back to Griffith because they are too strict. They are lit. Ah, the black is there mm -hmm. another one for strictness? They are very strict, very strict. in marking like uh, assignment to mm -hmm. exam to even to your ah the plagiarism. You don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> you don't even want to mess with plagiarism, guy. Mm -hmm. And there's like if you're submitting assignment, there's this like plagiarism tester. So mm -hmm. it, it gives you like the percentage of everything. If you if you've copied and pasted from internet, it will mm -hmm. show. And if you're not wise enough, or if you're not smart enough, mm. I just submit it like that. You're getting zero for that assignment. Uh. You're getting zero for that assignment. Did you ever fall victim? No, uh, uh, never, never. A uh, smart babe like me. <laughs> okay. So one sentence to describe Griffith College. What would you say? It's a disciplinarian school mm -hmm. filled with too much terms and conditions, too much laws <laughs> and rules. <laughs> but I mean, I think it's actually good, actually, so that they know the kind of people they are working with, the people that here also know the kind of school they are in, so nobody messes up, nobody. Disturbs nobody, but just know everybody that minds that like, yeah, 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 that true, kind true, of true, true, true. But true. Then, yeah, but the hostel, like in the hostel, you, you tend to enjoy the hostel more. You know now that like, we are not in the hostel anymore, mm. so you're controlling your heater, you're controlling everything that you're oh, yeah, exactly. But, so, but in the hostel, hostel can on it too for like the whole ah, day. Can it like... And now that is winter period, you can even leave your heater on. Like you're not paying for any bills at all because yeah. you've already paid. For but it's everything. expensive, no? Yeah, it's expensive school. Yeah. If it is a like private business school, yeah. It's a private business school, Griffith College. Okay. The school fees, mm -hmm. I paid, I, I think I, they gave me like 30, how many percent discount? I can't remember, 30% discount. Okay. So when I was coming here, they gave me 30% discount. I think it's because of my agent, I don't know, but yeah. yeah. And then the hostel, I stayed for in the hostel for only five months. I stayed in the hostel February, March, April, May, June, July, or six months, and then okay. in August, I left. Okay. Yeah, so I paid like 7,000 to 8,000 euros. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Mm. That's actually fair. But I think they've increased everything now. Yeah, uh, yeah. Everybody they've has increased actually increased everything. everything. Yeah. yeah, okay. That's fine. What opportunities are available here in terms of like part time job, sports? Are they like membership, gym? We didn't even, is there a gym here? I didn't like really a sports center? I didn't, I didn't do gym. I didn't do any sports activity in school. Mm, okay. So I can't. So what about like part time jobs? Do they yeah, they do, do part time, -time jobs. jobs yes, to like students. Yes. yes, you can work as a PA to maybe any lecturer or something. Mm -hmm. You can just like work as a PA in the accommodation unit. You can mm -hmm. work as a PA or a secretary in the receptionist unit. Like maybe like, let me say you're in internship you can yeah. do that most courses do internship but well, my course i didn't do any internship program it was just mm. 
straight up to school, then assignment, then exam, and then the test is that's it. Mm-hmm. But I didn't do any internship because. Okay. So how would you describe like the student life here? Is it going? It's is it going good. and hard going? <laughs> but it's both easy and it's both hard. It's both hard in terms of academics here, yeah. and then yeah. it's easy in terms of the social student, life. Social life here. Yeah. Okay. I think they have time for parties. They have time mm. to play games. They have time to do different activities okay. in school. So there was one part we recorded, the field part. So mm-hmm. in that field part, you can see where. They play, they like play basketball, football, and basketball, football. Yeah, you can't even social. You can't throw parties there. Yeah, then sit out, and sit stuff. out and eat and drink, mm-hmm. everything, everything. Mm, that's actually okay. So would you say that um, getting a job after you're done with your studies, like, it's guaranteed. is somewhat guaranteed? Not really guaranteed. Guaranteed is a strong word, but like it's easier. Do employers actually recruit people from here? Do you think that university is that school that people would want to employ people from? I would say yeah, I've seen like some LinkedIn, um, what's it called Portfolios. Now? Portfolios here yeah, where yeah. people get like um, jobs, jobs and with great and great from from college. Yeah. Okay. And then you know that thing in, in need to where, where they show you, oh, people that graduated from your school. like yeah. So some people are lucky, but me, I'm still trying to see if I'll get a job, but hopefully, fingers crossed, mm, you yeah, get something. Looking, yeah, you will, definitely. Yeah. So how was the admission process? Yeah, how was the admission process for you? Like how many months did you from the time that your agent started to help you apply to like a visa and everything? Yeah, so it took me like one to two weeks before every, like everything was settled with one to two weeks. Actually, they gave me yeah, an admission they letter. They gave me the offer letter, they gave me okay. everything. But the school fees I didn't pay immediately because okay. of bank and all those things. Yeah. So the whole school fees process took about three to one three to four weeks, so like one month. Mm. Yeah, but the offer letter came out immediately, like mm. immediately the waste time it came out oh, immediately. Actually, right? How accessible are your professors, your teachers here? Very, very accessible. Mm. Very extremely accessible. So if you have a problem, you can just yes, find them. You can even send them an email and they are going to respond to you immediately. They are, no, they are very good. Mm. They are very accessible. Like mm. You can't say um, you have a problem with maybe, let me say, an assignment. and Maybe reach out to a lecturer through email. And sometimes they even can give you their numbers. I mean, mm-hmm. they can give you their numbers to call them. That's if you're, let me say, very close. But with emails, they respond very fast, very, very fast mm-hmm. emails. Except they're not on seats that day. Mm-hmm. Or even if uh, they'll still respond to you somehow, somehow. Even if it's at night, they'll they respond, respond to you. And then there's a platform in Griffith College where you can assess all your lecturers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's the grading system like? I know, like in my own school, mm-hmm. UCC, it was like 70 to 100 A. 669B, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's still the same. It's the same thing. Okay, it's the same thing. thing. Griffith. I know, like, I don't know, I think it's NCI, but one of these schools don't have D in their grading. Griffith has D. Like, from C, it goes down to, like, F. So there's no D. No, mm. Griffith has a D in their grade. Yeah, I think so you guys are not that bad. That means I think NCA is stricter than you guys. <laughs> yes, I'm serious. I think there's a D. Yeah, there's a D in Griffith. I think they call it a fail or something. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. D is fail. Yes. Yeah. Well, you see. And there's no F. Are you serious? Yes, there's no F. There's no F. But the last is a D. I think the last is a D. And 40 D is to fail. 49. Yes, it's a fail. If you're coming for masters, it's a yeah, fail. It's a fail. It's a f- don't forget it. You have to redo that. <laughs> you have to redo that course. Yes. It's a fail. Oh, if I'm getting a 50, it's a fail. Are you serious? Yeah. 50? Mm-hmm. I never got a 50. Sorry, I'm not bad. I, I never got a 50. <laughs> well, for your, for your trumpet. Too. <laughs> and then the last question that I have for you, your advice to like a prospective international student coming to Griffith. From my experience, I would mm-hmm. say if you used to work or if you used to study 50%, when you come to Griffith College or mm-hmm. even any international school, like whether in Dublin, in mm-hmm. Limerick, anywhere at all, Mm. You have to study 95% more. Mm. Yeah. If you really want to make a distinction, a second class upper. Mm. Because I can't advise you to say, oh, second class, no, any, any, you won't get any job. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you won't get it. With a second class, no, I don't know about anybody, but with a, with what our lecturers used to tell us, mm. with a second class lower here in Dublin, you won't get any job. I don't know if it's true, but I believe there isn't scales. But mm-hmm. that's what they used to say, like, with a second class lower, like, you won't get any job. It was actually lovely having this small chat with you. Thank you so much for actually coming thank out to give you. us, like, a tour of your school. Thank you so much, Faith. And thank you so much, everyone, for watching. If you're interested thank in you. coming to Griffith, I hope that this video kind of gives you, like, a different mm-hmm. idea or, like, an idea of what Griffith is like and what to look out for, what you're supposed to do and mm-hmm. what to prepare for, basically. Prepare for basically yeah, prepare so, for yeah, pretty much that's it. Thank you so much, Faith. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Thank if you, you did enjoy this video, if you if you want to see more thoughts like this, I'm ready to respond to any questions. Exactly, yeah. I'm going to be leaving her Instagram handle on the screen. If you have any questions, if you're also here, boy, your international student prospective one, and you also want me to do like another school, even if it's not Griffith or if it's 
where I can go to, even if it's minute, it's where I can go to. I'll do it. Just put it down in the comment section and I'll look at your suggestions and then I'll keep the ball rolling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a very huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Ciao, ciao.